Hello and welcome. This is an incredibly gorgeous tenor in amazing all original condition. It's a Rolex Oyster Perpetual Day Date, which some people also wrongly refer to as a president. Uh, this is a reference 1803 from 1977. Uh, why do people wrongly refer to it as a president? Because the bracelet that's on it is called the president, but the watch itself is not. The watch itself is just a day date. The bracelet is the president, but most people, well, a lot of people just refer to this type of watch as the president. Um, this one, as you can see, is in super, super nice, uh, all original condition, especially really, really nice for its age. Uh, the beautiful cream pipe and dial is pristine um, with beautiful beautiful aged loom pips and also the loom on the hands is are s the loom inserts on the hands are still intact they match perfectly with the loom on the dial and just so 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 beautiful this is truly one of the nicest examples i've uh, i've seen of these especially for its age because usually these uh, older ones, especially the four digit riff, like 1803, 1803, um, they often have badly patinated dials, cases that are very worn, but this one is one of the sharpest examples you will find around. Um, this one, uh, 18 karat solid gold case, is in superb condition as well, super crisp. As you can see, uh, as you can see, still very, very nice crisps, crisp um, um, finish on the lugs, also the sides, uh, very beautiful um, finish there as well. Very, very crisp um, edges too. It's a bit difficult to capture on pictures and video, but yeah, very, very sharp piece overall. This one. Uh, crown and crystal also um, r this is original and rolex signed one thing to note though the crystal uh, from the front it is uh, it's perfect but it has some cracks inside of the the crystal ring you can only see it from certain angles like here as well at the top and at the bottom it has some cracks on the ring where it um, between the case and the bezel um, so yeah for that one I can get a new crystal installed for you um, especially if you're in the US or in Europe it's easy I will uh, I will send this to my watchmaker first he will put a new crystal in and you will then receive it um, with the new crystal so uh, it will be good as new and even more beautiful than it already is um, Here on the case you see a little bit of patina which well you can easily wipe it off if you want I will just um, Well just have to rub it with a microfiber cloth and it will go away But I personally prefer to leave it because it shows that the case has been untouched for quite a while um, because well if it has been polished or something um, obviously this one wouldn't be here um, this kind of patina only appears after a few years um, so yeah anyway the case back also very nice um, has some light signs of use here you have some light signs where you can see that it used to have a used to have um, the bracelet but probably the bracelet uh, yeah got tossed out uh, or sold separately I don't know uh, this is how I got the watch there's no bracelet with it just head only but a really really nice combination um, comes on a very nice uh, lizard leather strap with an aftermarket Rolex buckle this buckle is not original um, just gold plated aftermarket uh, so how does this one work? Um, well, basically it's an automatic so it will wind by the movement of your wrist But you have to um, Well to set it or wind or whatever you want to do you have to unscrew the crown until it pops um, As you can see then you can manually wind it into in the zero position and then 
you only have time setting you don't have quick set day just time setting um, which I will show in a few but just make sure that the crystal is clean so you can see it properly this one does have um, a sort of I'll just let the second scan go further this have a s this has a sort of semi quick set date um, one thing to note is the second hand also hacks which is correct for this movement this is a 1556 and um, it was introduced in 1965 but in 1972 the hacking function was introduced so this one at midnight the day and day changed smoothly like perfect on um, that stop midnight which is always uh, encouraging then when you um, when you go back to 9 the day will go back but the date will stay the same and that's how you can advance the date see we're Wednesday 24 Wednesday again Thursday 25 Wednesday again and this is basically how you do the quick sedate well semi quick sedate for this watch and so once you're almost there um, you do have to go all the way around for the date or you can also go backwards but it's always recommended just to go forward so if you want to set it on um, well if today is Saturday just go around a few times um, do uh, factor this in um, because well, if you go too far you will have to go hack a um, well not hack but like quick set or semi quick set quite a bit anyway once you're done you just put the time um, as you like well or what it actually is uh, that's probably a better idea then push it in and then gently push and screw and that's it as you can see there's a lot of thread on the crown it screws down very nicely very 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 sweet pieces uh, it measures 36 millimeter diameter without crown and 44 and a half I believe millimeter from lug to lug this one um, you can also clearly still see the reference number here uh, 1803 here the serial number which is 5 million um, 5 million zero 021 something um, check the description below for the exact details this is a um, reference 1803 powered by a chronometer automatic caliber 1556 from 1977 this is on my very flat 7 inch wrists uh, just looks amazingly beautiful anyway hope you like it